All right, day one of OTAs has completed and Harrison Smith joins me virtually here inside the TCO studios. And Harry, the last time we talked to you, man, it was January 3rd, I think, after the Detroit Lions game. A lot of time has passed between now and day one of OTA. So how was your, I guess this was your summertime. So how was your summer? How was everything going? It was good. Um, nothing, nothing too wild. I did get married. Um, Congrats. So it was a good off season. Well, day one of OTA is you just started. Um, I know we were talking off camera. You were training in Tennessee. Now you're back here. How you feeling right now? Feeling good. It's always, uh, you know, you kind of get away from it for a while, unwind, and then you, you start itching to get back, get back around the guys, mm -hmm. uh, see if you can remember how to play football. <laughs> um, so it's uh, it's always good to get back. Where are you in the process of remembering how to play football going up on year ten? Yeah, it's. I mean, you know, it comes back quicker and quicker, I guess. Uh, but there's, there's, if someone in the off season tells you that they're ready in like February, March, they are, they're lying because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it definitely takes you to come back, get those, those steps, backpedal, turn, mm -hmm. uh, get around the coaches and the guys and get that chemistry going. I know a few guys that can probably say that. And a lot of those guys are the new guys on the defensive side of the ball. I'm talking about Dalvin Tomlinson, uh, Xavier Woods, P2. It, the opportunity to actually get out there and practice with them day one of OTA is your thoughts. Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, I know not not every team is is on the field quite as much. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing, but it's um, having new faces and having having players of of all those guys that you mentioned, all of their calibers, um, getting them in the mix early, and just just little things, talking before the snap, um, seeing how guys operate. Uh, you know, it's, it's little things, but I think it'll add up. You know, like outside looking in for, for us or like the media, you know, to say like, okay, well, this guy can fit here or this guy can fit there. But, you know, inside looking out, when you see a guy like P2, we all saw the clip when you guys met at the Pro Bowl, you were stretching, you asked him how many Pro Bowls he went to, and he was like eight, and you were like, oh, shoot. But inside looking out, what does he provide this defensive back room? Immediately that, that veteran corner presence, um, and there's just there's no there's really nobody like uh, P2. You know there's there's a lot of guys that have had success, uh, young guys with a ton of talent, uh, and I think we have a good mix. Um, you know last year we had a lot of young guys, a lot of a lot of promise, a lot of uh, learning, and uh, and a lot of playmakers uh, that that started making those plays towards the end of the year. And you add a guy like P2, um, it's gonna it's gonna mean a lot for not only just the production of the defense because adding him but what he will add to all the younger guys as well mm. so with that i mean two guys two pro bowlers in the room now does your leadership does your leadership style change heading into year 10. no i'm i'm you know after you get a few years in you kind of are who you are um <laughs> so i think we got we got a good group of guys who know what it takes to get done we also brought in xavier woods mm. um who's had a lot of success in this league so Having, having a mix of, of veterans and young guys, and all of us know how to work and um, know how to work together. So we're just gonna try to keep building on that. Harry, man, I know you're not big into like notoriety or praise. I mean, we all, I mean, that's our job to do that, right? Hey, this guy's this, I mean, it's the best safety to do this, but internally, like what motivates you in year 10? I don't know, you start searching for other things to compete at mm. and there's just like a weird, drive of one and defeat somebody at something <laughs> uh like me and my little brother are playing golf every day and he's way better than me but i'm always trying to beat him so you know obviously i want to do that in football mm. the most uh because that's where i excel a little more no matter what it is like in the off season or whatever like you're missing out and it definitely spills over into your real job mm. um playing football and that's that's when that competitiveness really should show itself my last question for you um, goals. Uh, like I said, I know you aren't like the, this external, hey, this is me, 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 but goals. I'm not into, I'm not into like goals right now okay. as far as um, the next season. Like there's obvious goals. Every, if you don't want to win a Super Bowl, don't be here. Right. That, I mean, that's, that goes without saying, but you don't start there. You start, you start right here. The goals right now are getting the fundamentals down, getting our, our, our keys down, whatever is new that the coaches are throwing our, our way. Learn that just like I've learned the past stuff that we've run. Um, those are the goals you can take care of today. And that's that's what it's about right now. Um, and as we get closer, I'll start, you know, you start thinking a little more about 
uh, team goals. Well, like I tell everybody, if Harrison Smith keeps aging like a Pinot Noir, this defense would be in good hands, man. So best of luck going forward. I'm looking forward to it, bro. Uh, thank you, Gabe. Yep.